Hi guys, um, this is the Innovative Mind Tutor. Hope you're well. In this video, we are going to work with uh, Euclidean Geometry Grade 11. So we are still looking at uh, Eastern Cape, November 2020, right? Um, what you should note, guys, when you're working with Euclidean Geometry, this is what you should accept. There are proofs that you need to know. Um, center theorem proof, which is angle at the center, is twice the angle at the circumference. There is also one uh, line from a center perpendicular to a chord or line from a center to the midpoint of a chord. There is also a tan chord. You need to have you know that proof as well as opposite angle of a cyclic quad. Right. So um, those are the proofs that are examinable in grade 11. Right. So let's start with 7.1. It was a proof. In the diagram below, D is the center of A, A B, C. Right. With radius BD produced to A. So they want us to prove three marks, five marks, sorry for that. Uh, use the diagram to prove the theorem. We state ADC is twice at ABC. So to be to make things easier in this in, in this manner, we could say uh, let angle A be equal to X, right? We could say let angle A be equal to X. Right. Uh, Okay, already they have constructed for us, right? They've co constructed B O, uh, B B D to uh, to for, to produce a, a O, right? So in this case, we let uh, we are going to say let A be equal to X in this case. Therefore, we could say B A D angle B A D is equals to X reason. The reason will be uh, opposite angle equal sides. Opposite angle equal sides. Since uh, B, O, and B, D are equal. Right? B, I, say, I said that B, A, D is equal to X. Right? Okay. So the reason will be opposite angles equal sides. We are not done. Then what we can see there, uh, we can also see that at A, D, O, A, D, O, at A, D, O, uh, this will be twice at the circumference. So we can just say A, D, O is twice. So we can say angle at the center. This will be angle. Angle at the center. Okay. Similarly, we can also do the same thing at uh, at C. Let's see B B Y. Let's see B Y. Okay. Then we can see that C D O C D O uh, C at C D O is twice. It will be two Y. So the reason will be the same. Angle at the center. Then. Uh, we can see that ADC, angle ADC, will be twice, in, so it will be 2x, we are going to say 2x plus 2y. Then we factor out, then we are left with x plus y. Therefore, we could say ADC is twice ABC. You can use any other alternative that you know to, to, to work out this, right? Yes, some I know that they will say... Uh, they will go beyond. Yes, you can do. Um, you can apply any other uh, other alternative without using this. Either writing it in terms of x and y. Uh, what is important it, as long as it brings you here, right? Okay. Uh, here my paper is all kind of written, but it's fine. We'll work it out. They said um, in the figure below, O is the center of a uh, of a circle A A B C D E such that D B Okay, we have that DB is equal to DF, meaning that uh, at since uh, DF is equal to what uh, DB, meaning that here it's also going it's going it's also going to be ten degrees, right? So what are we looking for? They said we are looking for D two to get D two. We could DT D two will be twenty degrees. Why? It will it is because. Uh, it is because it's an exterior. It's an exterior angle of triangle B, uh, BDF, right? It's an exterior. 
So what can we see uh, from there again? Let's try to find other angles so that we can be able to answer all of this. Guys, whenever you're working with Sash, you must remember that you're working with a rider. A rider. A rider is a problem in geometry. Always use this technique. Uh, Dr. Cape Town. Uh, D for, for diameter. R for radius. C for cyclic quad. P for parallel lines. T for tangents. Right? So these are the things that you must take note of. Okay, we, we already saw that D2, it's it's an exterior, so it will be 20 degrees. We, we can see that there's a diameter again there. Uh, AD, yes, you can see that AD is a diameter, meaning that here it will form, there will be 90 degrees actually. There will be 90 degrees. Okay, okay. So, what can we see again here? All right, all right. What can we do? We need to find the, 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 the other angles. How do we find the other angles? That will be the question. Okay. And we can see that uh, B at, we have a cyclic quad. We have a cyclic quad. A, we are being told that A, B, C, D, E. Yes, we have A, B, C, D, E. Yes, we do have a cyclic quad. And also at B A C D. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cyclic quad. So remember, they also said we need to find A. How do you get a A? How do you get A? The big, the big question will be how. <laughs> so to work out such, what could we do then? Hmm, this sounds interesting. All right, um, to make things simpler, to find the other angles, guys, uh, we can see that, that we have B, O, and uh, O, D. They are radi, equal radi. They are equal radi. Yes, they are radi. So meaning that at B2, it's also 20 degrees, right? So to get uh, B1, Right, uh, we want to find a, a. Remember, we, we need to find a to get b1 angle b1. Remember that angle b1 plus angle b2 is equals to 90 degrees. We said that it's a uh, it is because of angle in a semicircle, right? But we already have a uh, angle b2 which is 20 degrees, right? Then equated to 90. Then to find angle B1, we could say 20, 90 minus 20, that will be 70, okay? So meaning that at, B, at angle B1 is 70 degrees. Another thing that we can see from this triangle is that BO and OD are equal radi. That makes it 70 degrees as well, right? That makes it uh, 70 degrees as well. So, okay. We can also find O angle O by subtract by saying uh, 180 subtracted by 70 subtracted by 70. What is that? That is 40, meaning that here it will be 40 degrees. And uh, O1 and O3 will be equal to each other, vertical opposite angles. Remember that we can also find angle O2. O2 angle O2 is twice, uh, is twice at, the, uh, at the center. Angle O2, angle at the center, is twice the angle at the circumference. Meaning that at angle O2, it will be 140. Okay. I think I've put everything into order here. Another thing, we can see that angle A is equals to 70 degrees. So let's start writing then. Okay. At angle D2, remember that we said that angle D2 is equals to 20 degrees. They said calculate, give reasons, the size of the following angles. So at angle D2, it's going to be a... 20 degrees reason exterior angle of a triangle which triangle a uh, triangle d dbf okay okay we are done with that so what about a a we said it's gonna be 70 degrees uh, but the first reason will be that angle b it's 90 degrees reason angle in a semi circle angle in a semicircle this is the first reason that we can write. Then, um, okay, to so make things simpler, we could say 
oh, we are going to O2. Oh, we are not done. Uh, what about the reason of, of, of saying angle A is equal to 70? It is because of its uh, opposite angles equal sides. Okay, opposite angle equal sides. Then to find angle O2, we could say 140 degrees. Reason, uh, we calculated that this is a angle, angle at the center. Is twice is twice the angle at the circumference right then let's look at angle c1 oh we didn't calculate angle c1 angle c1 since uh, a b c d it's a cycle quad that's an opposite angle of uh, it's an oppo it's opposite to a so we could just say a uh, 180 subtracted uh by 70 i think that will give us 110 so in other words angle c1 is going to be 110 yes it's going to be 110 degrees resin opposite angles opposite angles of a cyclic quad cq right opposite angle of a cyclic quad then let's go to e E it's a it's equals to seventy reason the reason will be a, remember that you you must a, put your statement and reason according to max right according to max right check 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 you must check be very careful in terms of that then uh, okay all right okay what can we say again there oh i left here at at um 7.2.1 it was three marks there another reason will be the angle i just saw it now angle b3 is equals to 10 degrees reason uh opposite angles equal sides opposite angle equal sides right because D, uh, df and bd are equal they've we are given there from upward. Then uh, let's go to C2. Right? Uh, okay, okay, okay. What are, okay, we did calculate it. At E, we said because A and A, A, because this is a cyclic quad, it forms a bow tie. We can see a bow tie here. There, here's a bow tie theorem. So, meaning that angle A is equal to angle E, which will be. Angles in the same segment. Angles in the same uh, segment. Sorry for that. Angle in the same segment. Okay. How many marks was that? Two marks. Right. Okay. Then we go to angle C2. Also, it's two marks. At angle C2, uh, remember that here it's now 110. What we can see, uh, C1 and C2 are angles on the triangle. On a straight on the straight line sorry for that angles on a straight line so 180 subtracted by 110 will be 70 so will be 70 so meaning that uh, we could say c2 70 degrees resin angles on a straight line angles on a straight line how many marks is that two marks right then we go to o3 how many marks is o3 then we have to calculate with reason the size of uh, angle O3. Oh, what is interesting is that we have already calculated O1. Angle O1 is equal to angle O3. I did put it there when we, we, we work out the diagram. So that makes it 40 degrees. The reason, the reason will be vertical opposite angles equal. Vertical opposite angles equal. So remember your straight lines. You must know your straight lines and know to differentiate your parallel lines as well. So this is how you were, this is how you can uh, answer um, Euclidean geometry questions. So tomorrow I'll also post another video of Euclidean geometry. Yes, we're still working with question seven. Yes. Right, so so that we can look at the complex riders. So these are the easiest one. So this is how you can work with um, Euclidean geometry. Know well your proofs, and also here you can use any any other al al alternative. It's also acceptable, right? 
So you can use this one in terms of uh, X and write it in terms of X and Y uh, to make things uh, simpler. Yeah, to make things simpler. That's what you, you can do, right? Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. And uh, we love you.